As of tomorrow, the state of Michigan will officially terminate their contract with UPEMS. Yeah, the state says it's a move to unify the way emergency medical services are handled throughout the state. But EMS workers and state officials have major concerns about how it will affect emergency services in the UP. TV6's Mallory Anderson reports. Just over a month ago, UP EMS was notified their contract with the EMS office in Lansing would not be renewed. Though UP EMS will continue to exist, it now has a large financial burden since the contract provided a substantial part of their budget. The UP EMS board has already said that they're going to try to find a way to stay active, stay involved, look for other sources of funds or grants because the need and the reason that UP EMS exists is still there. The state says the termination is due to a need for unification of how emergency services are provided throughout the state. However, many feel the UP needs its own process due to how rural it is. In, in my perspective, it doesn't make sense because you can't have Michigan all be consistent. Certainly it's not good for the urban areas either. They have certain needs that are specific to their areas that we don't have to deal with, but similarly, the rural areas should not have to conform to urban solutions because a lot of times they are our problems. There's also suspicion about whether the contract termination is truly for unification or if it's due to UPEMS's executive director speaking out against the department's demands of rural first responders. Bob Strzok has been pretty vocal um, in, in the EMS world. As far as rural Michigan, he's been a champion for them and stood up for them. And where he's disagreed with the department, he's let it be known and the fear there is that uh, because of speaking up, that might have caused some heartburn uh, where the department's concerned. Senator Casperson and Representative Kivala say they plan to meet with the director of the department in a remote location of the UP like Big Bay to show the conditions UP first responders must work in. Mallory Anderson, TV6 News, Marquette.